Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Road to 56 mod as the United Kingdom. I was wondering in between videos, how did I generate world tension that it is affecting my relationship with the United States? So I looked it up over here. Well, if you scroll down, Uh, I'll save you the trouble of trying to scroll through all that. But Poland capitulated to me. That created 4.2% world tension. So even though Poland was a member of the Axis, and it declared war on me, and I believe we are the defenders in this war. Yes, we are the defenders. Even though we are the defenders defeating the offensive powers, I still generated world tension by winning. And that's affecting my relationship with the U.S. even though we share the same ideology. I I'm scratching my head right now. I don't understand the logic behind that. But, whatever. Let's get this bad boy rolling. Oh, I uh, adjusted uh, our Lend-Lease with South Africa. I decided not to let them go so easily they probably will get away easily but I've decided to still put up a fight so I gave them more goods more raw materials and we're losing this battle they're surrounded we shouldn't be losing this battle Listen up. All right, you guys go there I'll send reinforcements to you guys in a little bit yes sir Okay, you're doing fine. Africa is about wrapped up. Because of the ongoing Soviet threat, I did decide uh, with the armor that I sent originally to Africa, along with the two new divisions, I'm sending them to Albania. Well, the border with Albania. If we do end up going to war with the Soviet Union. I can attack, knock out Albania and then send them up to the Soviet border real quick. Hopefully it will work out. I do need to come up with another army to defend against Republican Spain. With that, let's take a look at our two victories. Sink five Japanese transports and damaged four more by air. And looks like we did win this one, so that be you. And you got all 24 of your divisions targeted. No. Go up. And then, yes, there we go. There we go. That'll be stage one. And that's all I worry about right now is just stage one. But, you got them so outnumbered, just go. The only reason why you are not green is because you're waiting for other troops to arrive. I've been thinking about going after atomic research. And, radar. We're nowhere near 42, but I need the excavation. Actually, I don't, because I traded away with the United States. That was why I did in between videos. I made a trade with the United States for oil and aluminum. Aluminum. Some victories. Nice. Sank 10 Japanese transports. I can live with that. Because I want to improve my relationship with the good old USA. And it's... Yeah, it is working. I could use improved relations, but it won't make a difference in the invite to faction. It might make a difference. Let's give it a shot. Just for the hell of it. Ace pilot promoted. 
Besides, we got the political power to burn, baby. I did schedule a whole bunch of work to take place in India. Basically building a bunch of fortifications. Only up to one, but still. And right now the Indians are doing the work. But that's only... Well, they're doing... Actually, they're not doing any work. So we're just getting all those points on, on a good deal. Non-aggression pack request. Sure, why not? Yes, sir. None of our training armies are ready. Oh, I wanted to take a look at our subjects. How close are we? 88 from being able to downgrade India into an integrated puppet. And 261 from ownership of British Malay. Go away. Don't know if you heard that in my phone. I apologize. Sank 10 Japanese transports. I actually need to keep my phone work close and close. My phone close in case of work. Sorry. Words can be difficult and annoying. That is not enough aircraft, so we need to get some more. They won't all be able to reach. Great. So our dive bombers can't reach. Let's try this again. Boom. Okay, if the dive bombers can reach, what is not reaching? This, our old fighters. Okay. I wasn't paying attention, sorry. That was some China capitulated. Ah, reorganized nationalist China. So the only thing we got now... Ready to finish off those uh, Japanese. And the rest of you dedicate to that. You guys dedicate to that. First and foremost, knock him out. And we need to get Montgomery over here. But you need to finish off. Damn Portuguese over here. So I can use your forces yes, sir. your forces against the Japanese Orders. all right look. we can take your guys and move them I know how to do this. Boom. 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 That will work. No, it won't. Because now he's going to try to move all of his divisions there. Stop that. Bad idea. Instead, better idea. Defend that border. That works better. Not much better, but a little bit better. Look at all the damn Swiss. It's like they're invading India. Uh, 
All right, sank five Japanese transports. Got into it with some Japanese planes. What's the Japanese Navy looking like? 39 ships left, and they have 82 to 101 divisions. And Denmark wants access. No, Denmark, you are not getting access. I got enough problems with... Oh, we got that Japanese carrier. Nice. I have to ask, is that the last Japanese carrier? One can hope. French have a shit ton of divisions going around, and I don't know... The, the Swiss, they've got to be rabbits, because they're breeding like freaking rabbits, or their divisions each consist of one battalion, because they're all over the damn place. It's insane how many Swiss are showing up. Maybe it's a flaw in the program? Let's see what this says. Switzerland. 133 divisions. Okay, they are scraping the barrel, but still, 133 divisions? How? How do they... They have no navy, no aircraft, no... Uh, yeah, but that wouldn't give them that many divisions. No available manpower. So they are literally maxing out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. British Raj can become an integrated puppet. Let's celebrate this baby. And it is done. We are that much closer to taking over all of India and returning it to its proper place in the Empire. Life is good. Assembly line production is done. All right, we're already working on excavation. One behind true, but... We need to catch up on support companies as usual. Oh, boy. Let's go Mountaineers. We fight the Soviets. We are going to need Mountaineers. Sink Japanese light cruiser, and that battleship is just... Does not want to die easily. Alright, how are things going in Africa? Good. This one's being a little bit stubborn still, but we are marching on. We do have them surrounded without supplies. So things are looking up. Our resistance. Still suffering resistance problems in Germany and the Sudetenland. And Shanghai. I'm not worried about Shanghai. That's nice. That's only those three areas. So my efforts in Ethiopia has pay, have paid off. Should have uh, started researching next level military police. That will probably would have taken care of the resistance in Germany. All right, we have available factories. Let's finish fortifying Singapore. On multiple levels, too. I'm going to make Singapore absolutely impenetrable. But now we have to start thinking about our next one. All right. I'm going to do it. Armored car. We need to start building our new improved artillery. Boom. No problem. Throw a couple more. 
factories in the production. We have all kinds of factories, and we're short oil again. Damn. All right, let's go back to England. Let's build some more refineries. Thinking two more. We will turn all of Great Britain into a refinery if we must. Holy smoke. Anyways, I was just impressed at that. Damn it. Don't do that. And I guess we will work on India some more. Reinforce this border with Siam so that if Siam does decide to pursue those goals, they will regret it. They will run into fortifications. I would fortify our border against the Soviets, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to even hold that territory. So it's not worth the effort, to be honest. All right. We can now improve our torpedo bomber to the next one. And we are short aluminum again. No? Yes, we are. We have to be. Okay, let's work on the maritime before we worry about... Our next... Okay, here we go. Oil and... We're going to go to the U.S. for one more in each. I'm hoping that our improvements take care of the rest. What was that sound? What just happened? No template. Medium tanks. We should have eight Japanese... Orders. So, ah, India is starting to give us troops now. Beautiful. Ready, sir. Absolutely beautiful. This should be your 24th division, and it is. Okay, you, Ready you, you're assigned to the Albania assault. You should be done training, and you are. Take a break. Ready, sir. Yes, you are. Rapidly closing in to finish off the Reich. So just do it. Don't hold back, son. Montgomery. More importantly, how are you doing down here? Oh, so we won that battle. And then we got ourselves deported. <sighs> okay. No. Oh, no, they won that battle. All right, Belgian Congo. How about giving me permission to... Yes, there we go. Thank you. I just want to knock out these enemies so that I can go ahead and carry on. You guys are assigned to this. We have to start. We have to pull off an invasion of Japan to end them. Sank a Japanese sub. Battle of the South China Sea. Nice. We're pushing way up now. Closer to Japanese. Japanese. 
It's an interesting mentality that I can win a war and cause world tension against an aggressor. Let's see if all of our efforts against the U.S. have paid off. They still will not accept. If we were not in a war, they would accept. That's interesting. The reason why I say that's interesting. Once peace breaks out, we can ex invite the U.S. into the Allies. They will accept. Then we can go after the Soviets, if need be. But I may not go after the Soviets, because this has been going on for so long, and we're getting so much closer to March 8th. And I have to get this series done. Orders. Before the updates start to roll out. Yes, sir. Okay, you are going to be assigned to the garrison army. Which there are. Where are you three at? Okay, let's. One of you. Go to here. Over to there. Over to there. Listen up. Next one. Go to there. Damn it. Over to here. And the Attention. final one. I guess I'm actually going to garrison Out. that port. Seems like a logical move. Still working on Singapore. A couple of victories in the South China Sea. I'm not even going to bother to check them out. Insufficient resources. Situation is improving. Should be taken care of once we get to the next level of excavation. Seven days away from new light cruisers. Couple more victories. Wait a minute now. Okay. Those troops that we're sending to China are running into aircraft. That's what that is. Soviet Union is pushing hard against Turkey. Which means they'll soon be in a situation where they can push against Iraq. And I believe Iraq... Rack didn't join the Axis. What did they join? The Union of the Mashriq. Right. But they are against at war with the Communists, the common turn. Uh oh. Huh? Our supply, poor supply situation to end it. That's decent. Alright. Yeah, you guys. What the hell? What the hell are you guys doing down here? I don't get it. But anyway, start training. You have all kinds of less than perfect troops. But we have a bunch of medium tanks not really 1.3k let's see how many we can replace let's pause this because that happens if I would have been working on something I would have lost my work anyways medium tank 300 so yeah we can replace half of them no problem and we still have a surplus Perfect. I believe the armored car, they add a combat width of two, which would be perfect, and they're considered mobile. So I'll be able to add that 
to this to create a width of 20 and I believe they're considered recon if I remember correctly let's save this boom it's gonna add to our lights but that'll increase our punching power I could always put I didn't add the maintenance company yet oh well we definitely have to add the maintenance company scratch my idea of adding support anti-tank yes we have plenty of support equipment let's do that as well so our armor division is much more effective now with medium tanks we are nowhere near 44 I think for now I'm going to take a break on the ships. I could go after convoy sailing or sub attacks, which will be some of the best assistance. Oh, I know what we need land doctrine. Let's definitely start working on our land doctrines again. 212 days. So much going on. Yeah, these are all aircraft attacks on our convoy sending ships to China for the invasion of Japan. So much going on in this mod, you just cannot possibly keep up with it all. You have to specialize. Yes. Because you just don't have enough research slots to do everything. There's so many things that would help me in so many different ways I haven't even touched on because it keeps you the public of Iran. Did Iran just change its name? I think it did. And they have their own faction too. Just to keep you on your toes. That's all. Another sea battle. Sank another Japanese sub. Japanese Navy just will not die. I'd like to offer them peace. Just so I can carry on. Deal with this situation. I didn't want to go to war with Japan. Japan was foolish enough to join the Axis when the Axis was losing. To have 87 to 104 divisions. That's going to be a hard ass landing. That's why I'm going to use the South Africans. If they're going to end up independent, I'm going to use their troops as cannon fodder. You have to expect that of me. Okay. We have successfully knocked the Portuguese out of Africa. So. Come on! All of Mani's divisions. Go to that little area and get yourself unsupplied. In fact, no, not even. We can afford to do this now. Because it's not going to really hurt us, but there is one thing that we do have to do. Home fleet, you have to expand into new areas. All of his damaged ships just disappeared. You saw it. He had damaged ships that needed to go port, and they just disappeared. Strange. Probably because of the mod, but just a little thing that makes you. Oh, hell, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute.
The state of Japan declared war on Japan. Okay, this episode is already 30 minutes long, so we're going to come back next time right back here and see how this plays out. So until I see you all again next time, bye-bye.